Hey everybody, it is time for another video. As we work on our dashboard, we left off having six of these little cards on there that really could use some spacing help, but we'll um, go to our code, and the first thing we're gonna do is I'm going to delete five of them, because they don't need, I don't need that many. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna copy this one, and I'm going to put this in here so that we have this test. Now there's a couple of other things I have and in here I worked up a little bit of CSS and basically what we want to do is we want to be able to make those icons bigger than they're really made to be and we also don't want to underline the text. So let me show you what's going on. I think of all the things I don't really like the way these things get underlined when you hover over them and I would also like to see this icon be a little bit bigger. So what we're going to do, this is going to be another copy and paste job. I'm going to copy this CSS and because we really only need it on this page, we're only going to put it on this page. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some style tags here and we're going to put that there. So basically what we've done, the two CSS snippets we've had are all on, on all anchor tags we want it to, text decoration is that underlining when you hover over it, we want that to be none. And I marked that important just to make sure that it stays that way. The other thing is we're making a new class and it's called huge. And uh, the font size is 50 picks and we don't want to make any changes to the line height. So if I save that and come back here and refresh the page, you'll see that we got rid of the other five cards. And now when you hover over these, you get, still get the darkening effect but you don't have that underline, so it looks a little less goofy. And so we also have this font awesome icon, which is here. So the first thing I want to do is let's do something with one of these cards. So if I were to look here at this manage RFID thing, um, I have this new student one here. So let's say, let's make this a, a more interactive dashboard. And what I mean is, instead of just having buttons let's have the buttons tell us something so what we're going to do is the first thing is we want this new student icon and so uh it's probably still faster to go i'm going to right snap that and left snap this one it's probably still easier to go to font awesome cheat sheet and then uh we'll go to users so we have this fa user plus which is the little same plus icon that we're using here. Now we could have looked at it in the menu, but this is just about as fast. So what we want to do is as we look at the code, right now what we're doing is we have this um, FA legal. And so we want FA user plus. So we're going to change that. And now if I refresh the page, we have the new user icon. So um, let's say, let's say there are what if we want to put how many students there are in that box? And so what we can do is we can find that out with PHP. So let's make a section up at the top here. And we're going to call this um, just numbers up here. So we're going to make a query to the database. So we're going to say students equals db query select and then I don't really care about any information about the students so we're saying make a variable called students go to the database and ask it to give me the and we're just gonna say ID so we're only gonna select one column because we don't really want to get all the information we just want to know how many there are so and you probably could do select count but either way we're gonna do this so select ID from students and then we're going to do count okay so what this is going to do is this is just going to tell us how many rows are in the student database, which means that we can come over here and copy this. And instead of having this one here, we could do um, we could do the PHP echo and then students like this. So this is going to tell us the count of how many students we have. So if you look here, we're just, this is right next to that icon. So if I save the page, now I can say there are 11 and I can say students. And then I can say 
add more. Make that lowercase. And eh, we're not going to do the dots. Okay, so if I if I refresh this, I'm going to minimize our code for a second. I bring this back to the dashboard, and I refresh this. Now our dashboard thing, we can decide if we want to center that. Whatever we do, I think we should kind of do it on all of them. I think as we have longer um, text up here, we may not want to have it centered. So now this is not just a button taking us to the... Uh, well, right now it's just taking us to this symbol. But... Um, this is not only just a button, but it is telling us some information of how many students we have. And I think there's some power in that. I like it. If nothing else, it's just kind of cool to have some extra information on there. So what we can do now is um, I can come here and I can right click this. Well, okay. I probably or I probably just want to look at the page. So let's do this. Let's open that in a new tab. And what we want to do is we really just want this new student.php. So when I come over here um, and I look at this, if you can see, this is kind of interesting. So I'm starting an href here and I'm ending it all the way down here. So basically everything inside of this card is a link. So all I have to do is put new student.php in there and all the text and graphics of this card become a link. So, or they were already a link, but now they're actually going to something. Boom. Okay, nice and simple. So let's do this one more time. So we have this student search thing. And now I don't know that I have a number there that we would necessarily want to put. Or we can put, uh, we can still keep the 11 just for the heck of it. Maybe we'll rearrange it and have, uh, have a little bit more space between them. But, all right, let's take this and we're going to call this add student. And then we want to say and add student card. And now, right now, these things are going to be right next to each other. But that's uh, as we have more cards, they'll be it'll be less of an issue. So we can even keep that same number here, and so we can say uh, find one down here instead of add more, find one. And then since we're here at the cheat sheet already, let's go and we'll search for search. So we have this fa search in the cheat sheet thing so now we can come here to the icon and we can say instead of fa user plus we can say fa search and now this should look real similar and again it's not going to be super impressive right now but so if we come back to our home page there's 11 students find one and so you have this giant magnifying glass that you can find one so we're going to do we're going to do two more things and then I'm going to show you a little bit about permissions and what's going to make this dashboard powerful. So we're going to copy this again and we're going to say, we're going to call it. So, all right, this is us. Instead of add, I'm going to say search. Okay. And then, oops, wrong one, search. Then this one, we're going to say, we're going to call it, um, point of sale okay and then we're going to call this point of sale card okay so now we have that thing and i don't really remember what it was called it was called uh let's minimize all this it was called snack shop so we have snack shop and then we have uh I'll tell you what, let's do, instead of that, let's do kiosk. Let's do, sorry, I don't, I don't mean to bounce around on you. I'm writing this on the fly, but let's do the kiosk because we have two of these. We have the check balance and then we have the argument settler. So, all right, let's do this. Let's do kiosk uh, check balance. And then we're going to do check balance here. So this is our third card. will be the check balance one. And then the fourth one is going to be argument settler. Okay, so we're going to move relatively quickly because there's not a whole lot to teach you, but the next part is going to be really cool. So 
let's forget about the number now. Let's not do the let's not do the um, the search thing, you know, or let's not worry about updating the number. We'll keep it at eleven for this video. And what we're gonna do is we are going to I'll tell you what. Let's say uh, okay. Let's see. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. This one is going to be the balance, and so um, check balance. Okay, we're just going to put these two down here, and then we're going to say um, settle arguments. Okay, so I'm not I'm not going to go ahead and put all the links on the cards at this time. So I just have check balance and settle arguments. We'll come back to this. So what we can do is these two cards let's make something here where we put kiosk cards okay and then i'm going to put down here end of kiosk cards okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to come to our dashboard and we are going to go to permissions management and you're going to see the kiosk. If you look, if I, well, in fact, if I click it, you can see that the permission ID is four. Okay. So what we want to do, I'm going to, we're going to look at a couple of them. So the kiosk is four. The cashier is five. This manager is three and this is two. All right. So this is important. So what we're going to say is, if we're going to open up PHP, if has perm, okay, which is has permission, then we're going to do an array and we're going to say two, three, four, five. Then we're going to open up, uh, no, then we're going to put a comma here and we're going to do user data ID. And I'm going to close the PHP tags and I am going to open this one up right here. Okay, so what I've done is I've said, if you have, something doesn't look right there. Um, I need an extra, let's see here. If has perm, so I need a parenthesis here. Sorry about that. I need a parenthesis there, and then I need to close like that, right? Yep, okay, so it's if, has perm two three four five and then you put their user id here which is the user id of the logged in user then show these two cards and um so what's going to happen is these cards only show up if you're logged in with that permit with one of those permission levels so if i were to minimize this and let's look at our second user and let's see what their permission level is so this one is called kiosk. So just for the heck of it for a second, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna take away their kiosk permission so that they only have permission one, which is user. So that's not included. They, the, this thing here is checking to see if they have two, three, four, five, but they don't. They only have user one or uh, account permission one. So I'm gonna log out and then I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna log in as user user and it might be called kiosk now isn't it uh kiosk let me try this kiosk password okay so we have to accept the terms and conditions so you'll see that they're only seeing two cards they're only seeing um this one and this one the find students and the add students but because of this statement where they have to have this permission to see these two cards they're not seeing them now what's cool is even though we made the mistake of allowing them to see these cards even though they don't have permission to actually access the pages then when i click this it's going to redirect them away they're not allowed to visit this page like user spice will not let them visit this page and in fact if i log out and i log back in as admin then you'll see down here in the uh, security logs you'll see the kiosk computer kept trying to access these uh, pages and they weren't allowed to. So that's a little bit about security and making things more dynamic. We're going to come back in the next video and we're going to make uh, those changes final. See you next video.